How's it going guys? Tony here. I haven't done a video in a very, very long time. And I'll, I'll give an explanation why. Got here today Christian, my nephew, and uh, we spent the entire weekend together. We went to an outdoor flea market, 600 vendors, overwhelming. We spent four hours there and still didn't see but half of it. Um, it. It was awesome. And all of this stuff here, I picked up from that outdoor flea market. And he also got some stuff too. So we're just kind of doing a pickup video from that event. It was overwhelming, a lot of walking. We probably walked five miles that day, no joke, Easy, easily. Um, but, you know, we, we plan on going next year. We're gonna get there earlier. So did you, did you have fun with the swap meet? Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you go first. Show them what you got, tell them what it is. Okay, I, I found a, a Minecraft Super that, was, that I've been searching for a, for a long time. And I just got a little pig because the pig is one of my favorite animals. Minecraft, all right. Now he didn't get this at a, actually I got it, uh, but he didn't get this at the swap meet, but he got Mario Kart DS. You're welcome. <laughs> I got Diary of One Kid, Roger Rules. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> you can see me. And what, what else did you get? Star, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. You all know how I feel about Star Wars Episode 2. You got it for two bucks. Um, My last two dollars. Yeah. So, it is what it is. Star Wars Episode 2. You, you gave one to me, but Cameron lost it, so I just uh, bought it again. And what, I what's this? Five minutes for keychain. I got, All right. I got a necklace, but someone wrote me. Oh, uh, do you have a necklace? Okay, cool. Yep. And then we went to go see Black Panther. Excellent, excellent movie. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Um, probably one of the better Marvel movies out there. And uh, yeah, we saved this little tub. Good movie. With my job. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'll get started with my crap. Okay, so this I actually got for a friend, and uh, she told me she was looking for this like two years ago. So I found it, picked it up for cheap. There you go, Captain Kirk. Uh, I'll get, I'll show all my toys first. This isn't necessarily a toy. Put that down. This is uh like a, this was in a Pac-Man lunchbox. And uh, they wanted five for it. I thought that was actually pretty cheap. It's in good shape. Usually when I see these, they're, they're kind of faded. And the color's still good on this one. I'll just put it in the game room. And there it is. So that's that. Um, toys, toys, toys. I actually picked up quite a few toys. Goosebumps and Ninja Turtles. <laughs> no Goosebumps this time. No, not, not Goosebumps, <laughs> Ghostbusters. Here's Slash. Here's, here's Leonardo, which I don't have that one. He's kind of banged up. Here's, um, I can't remember his name, but it's the duck one. I don't have him. Uh, this one I don't know the name of either. No, this is, this says Trauma. So this is actually a Toxie Crusader toy. I picked it up on accident. And then uh, some Ghostbuster toys. Egon. And then Ray. Pretty cool. So I pick up some toys on occasion. 
Alright. Um, so, video game stuff that I got. Um, this is pretty cool. The only downfall is it's a little ripped. Um, but other than that, it's in pretty dang good shape. This is an Atari 2600 controller in the box. And it has that little rip on it, but it's okay. Um, I paid five bucks for it, so I thought it was a fair price. Even, even if it was just for the controller, I thought that that was worth it. Um, I will not take the controller out, but yeah, this will just go up in my game room just like everything else, right? Uh, games, games, games. I got Silkworm for essentially 10 bucks. The guy knew what he had, he was a reseller. But I got them down. It's actually not a bad price on Silkworm. Uh, RBI Baseball 3, Sega Genesis. Um, Battle Grand Prix, Super Nintendo. Don't have it. It is a really good game. Um, it's a Hudson Hall game. Uh, GP1 Part 2. I actually have the Japanese version. Complete in box, Super Famous Tom version, believe it or not. So that's pretty cool. Uh, PS1 Saltwater Sport Fishing. This was at, like, this was in a bunch of CDs, but she didn't have any other video games. And I was like, what do you want for this? She's like, a dollar. So, like, why not? It was in, it's in good shape. So I'll play it one time and keep it in the collection. Yeah, who knows, weird game. Uh, now I did find some cube stuff, and you might say I'm crazy for getting some of these games. Rugrats Royal Ransom. That's something Bobo would play. Actually it looks like, kind of looks like a cart. Uh, racing form. I don't know. I'll try it one time. Uh, Kessen. Funny thing about this is um, I actually bought this at a garage sale with Bubby with my own money and I thought I had this game. I do not. So that's the reason why I got it. I should have bought it when Bubby picked it up but now I have it. So whatever. Uh, another cube game I didn't have, Star Starsky and Hutch. Uh, it's complete. It's, complete. It's, in good it's in good shape. And I'm, I'm going to be going for a 100% complete cube set eventually. You know, just kind of knocking a few out here and there. Get that out of here! <laughs> um, I also got quite a few Game Boy games. And... Um, Game Boy Cave. Uh, this is called Race Days. Game Tech. Never heard of it. <laughs> Going in the collection. I'll probably play it one time and that'll be it, right? Uh, now this looks like a really good game. Really Troll good game. Balls. Troll Balls. <laughs> game Boy Color game. Now I kind of want to have a complete Game Boy Color collection. Now, Shantae, I'm probably never going to have, but, um, you know, if I see him, I'll pick him up, especially if it's an oddball. Uh, this is a Capcom game, and I'm assuming it's a uh, puzzle game. Maybe. I don't know. You know, I, we just got this stuff. I haven't touched it yet. Uh, now, this was cool. Get that out of here. Gator. A Revenge of the Gator. It looks, it's a pinball game. Game Boy. And it came with the manual. So that's always pretty cool. It's a, a HAL Laboratory game. They're, it's the same creator. Uh, you know, they created uh, Kirby, uh, Super Smash Brothers, you name it. Okay. Uh, yeah. HAL. HAL. HAL America. Uh, top tennis, nothing to write home about. A Game Boy game. Now this was really cool. 
And I may start recollecting some of my Game Gear games. I sold a ton of my Game Gear games, pretty much my entire collection off. I had like 40 Game Gear games, and I whittled it, whittled it down to like two, two or three. Um, but I got Batman Returns. Put me in a goofball. Uh, PSP Hot Wheels Ultimate Racing. I got that for $2. $2. Um, and I, I don't know. I might slow down on the PSP collecting. Uh, I might even whittle down my PSP collection. I don't know. I don't really play PSP. I don't either. Uh, Far Cry Instincts Evolution. What a mouthful. Xbox. I think I played that. I don't think you have, because this game sucks. <laughs> you might have played a Far Cry game, but not this one in particular. And this was a schnooks rental game on one point. Score. Um, this is a dupe. I got it for a dollar. I might actually even keep it, because it says not for individual sale. So I think this was a pack-in. Um, this is, uh, this is actually probably my favorite Xbox game, Crimson Skies. Uh, underrated, a very, very cheap game to find. You, you can essentially get it for like five bucks, and I see it everywhere. Great game. Uh, PS2, Swing Away Golf. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Is this an actual place? No, it's T and E Soft. Never heard of it. It looks odd, kind of in the same vein as uh, Hot Shots Golf. So, just more shovelware. Now, Bubby, as a kindness of his heart, I don't know why we got this. Freaking Bubby. Yeah, he he actually bought some Star Wars books. I'm probably gonna sell this. Sorry, Bubby. The more I look at it, it's like a role playing book. But, well, it has, like, I might hang on to it. it. I don't know. Tell me what you got. Have you guys ever played this or used this? It's like a tabletop game, Wizards of the Coast game, 2002. So this came out right around when Attack of the Clones came out. And then this I am going to keep. This is the, the visual guide. This is the one that came out in 2000. Well, it came out in 2007. But Bubby just like, hey, do you want this? He bought it. I was like, yeah, well, I, I guess. I don't got a card because you want it. Yeah, but it has a visual guide. It smells like smoke, too. Good grief. Oh, well. And then this stuff right here. Um, well, except for these two games. It doesn't matter what kind of pickup video I do, where I'm at, I'm going to drop something. Um, so I did get these at the swap shop. The rest of the stuff I actually got at a couple game stores. Um, this is Da Shinrayu. I cannot. And it's sealed. I, whatever you say it. I don't know how to say it. Um, it's an Xbox game. It's sealed. So, it does have a slight rip in the back, which I just now noticed. Um, yeah. I'll just stick it in the collection and... Yeah, we'll see. Um, I also got this. Army Men, Soldiers of Misfortune. PS2. And all these games are in mint shape. And that's pretty good for, you know, an outdoor flea market, swap shop, swap shop, swap meat, swap shop, Facebook stuff. Okay, so this stuff I got at a couple of um, video game stores. I'm looking for the other card. Oh, there's that's a duplicate. I probably left it in the car. Um, but the other, the first store we went to is actually two stores. Game Depot. It was in Washington, Missouri, and also in Union, Missouri. And uh, pretty nice. Well, that's where we got the one in Union. We got that one in Union uh, from Game Depot, but it's pretty nice people. Uh, the prices were okay, pretty fair. Some prices were higher than others, and they actually kind of caught me slipping a little bit. 
And, but I caught them slipping, vice versa, so the price actually just equaled out to retail. Um, but the first game I got, Beethoven, um, the Ultimate Canine Caper, Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. So, always adding to the Super NES. Now, this is the one where I caught them kind of slipping a little bit. Big Sky Trooper. Um, I got it for nine. It's usually about a $17, $18 game. So, basically, you know, got it for less than half what it's worth. And then I got these two uh, from them as well. So, Lemmings and Oh No, More Lemmings. I actually paid 20 for this. This is only about a ten dollar game, so really, you know, I pretty much paid retail for all this, which is fine. And then this is cool. I remember looking at screenshots and um, quit playing with your dumb. I remember seeing screenshots in like PlayStation Magazine, Ninja, uh, Shadow of Darkness. It's an e. However you say Edos. Edo's game. I can never pronounce that right. But the only thing is the case. I'll replace the front case. But it's immaculate shape. Um, and I also got this for my classroom. This is a uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past mouse pad. I was like, yeah, I'll get that. Kids will like it. They'll see it and they'll like it. So, um, And then we also went to another game store called Game Over. This is in Union, Union, Missouri. Um, pretty good place. Um, kind of reminded me of very similar to trade, uh, trading games, or not trading games, um, Game Trader 2, excuse me, Game Trader 2. I love Game Trader 2, but kind of the same kind of inventory, a little, you know, similar. They had some import games. They had um, a lot of obscure stuff that you wouldn't normally see unless you want to search it out. And in retrospect, I probably should have picked up, there were some TI-80 games, and I should have picked those things up, man, or should have asked the prices on them. Um, but, and they were complete in box. I've never seen one complete in box before. But I did pick up a few titles, just a couple titles. Um, and they're both imports. So I got uh, on the Sega Saturn, and I don't have a, a Japanese Sega Saturn. I just picked it up, just you know, put in the collection. Uh, Lunar Silver Story, Silver Star Story. So this is the first one. Um, now the put that down. Uh, now this part's broken, like the CD holder. So I'll, re I'll replace that. I'll get an old PC game or something and swap them out. Um, but it's in really good shape. I paid retail for it like 15 bucks. I just picked, I've never seen, you know, I've never seen it. I don't normally see it. Um, I was like, yeah, I'll just I'll go and get it. Now this is the gym here. Uh, this is really cool. And I'm going to seek out the sequel to this thing. Um, it's a N64 Japanese game, and I, I'm probably going to go for a complete Japanese set as well for the Nintendo 64. Um, and this is the same; these are the same developers that made uh, the WCW vs. NWO games and later the WrestleMania game. So you quit doing that. <laughs> Virtual Pro Wrestling 64. Now this is pretty dang cool, um, and I looked it up a little bit just out of curiosity. Same mechanics as those WCW games, same format, same spirit meter, and it looks like same control of everything. It's the exact same engine, um, and there's actually WCW and NWO wrestlers in there, not the full roster. And there's also like legends in there, like Vader's on there, Andre the Giant. And I actually plan on doing a playthrough, a little let's play of this at some point on my channel. So, closing thoughts. Did you have fun? Yes. What was your favorite part? Um, probably 
being funny. Bubby being funny. Bubby being Bubby. Bubby being Bubby. Um, does Bubby stink in the car? A little bit. He does. He does. It just kind of gets, you know, it's kind of normal for me. It's, it's just everyday occurrence anymore when we go game hunting. But I had a lot of fun. Um, you know, we, my lord, we saw a lot of junk that day. And, you know, we had to sift through it to get, you know, actually see some games. Probably every four to five booths had video games. And, you know, people were willing to haggle, which is, that's what I love to do with video game stuff anyway. So, it was a win. All around. So, alright guys, um, anything else you want to say? Subscribe to my channel, it's called Retro Christian. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Weirdo. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's going to be it. Uh, we had a ton of fun. I'm also going to post um, a vlog of that day. That'll be up on the channel some point. And there will be a lot of content coming down the pipe, guys. And I'll give you a little update on that, too. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.